Good morning all, I am Saranya, Assistant Professor from the Department of Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about speed control of DC motor with a PWM technique using a PID controller on an Arduino MATLAB interface. The hardware setup consists of a DC motor MY6812 with a, power, with a power rating of 150 watts, 24 volt DC and with a maximum speed of 2500 RPM, a rotary encoder ES, ESB2 with a maximum speed of 1500 uh, RPM and with a power rating of 24 volt DC, a motor driver MD20A, an Arduino Atmega microcontroller 2560 model. Two SMPS, a 124 volt for the whole motor drive and 12 volt SMPS for the Arduino controller. Steps for Simulink hardware interface. Initially, insta uh, we have to fuse the embedded C code in Arduino using Arduino IDE. Yeah. We have to add the Simulink Arduino toolbox. Toolbox. Under hardware settings, we have to go for hardware implementation. The hardware board should be Arduino Mega 2560. Under that, choose the target hardware resources. Inside the target hardware resources, choose the host board connection. It should set host COM port should be manually specified and host COM port should be 3. I have to click OK. To locate the ports, go for device manager and under ports 3, you have to choose the USB serial device so this device is working properly ensures that the device is being connected okay now i have already developed the simulink model the set point is given as input this is the error detector the pid controller the transfer function from the motor is given to the pid controller and it is tuned using ziegler nicolas method. The sat this is the saturation block. The saturation level varies according to the input signal. It produces an output signal, limits the input signal to the upper level of 255 and lower level of 0. This is the this is, this is the Arduino pin 9 which generates a square waveform according to the input signal. This is the encoder. The encoder we are using here is an 8-bit encoder. And based on that, the speed is being calculated. It produces the PWM signal. And based on that, the speed is being calculated. The green LED indicates the motor driver is on. This green LED indicates the Atmega Arduino controller is on. This orange color indicates the MATLAB is being interfaced with the Arduino. Now two LEDs will blink and the motor starts running. Now we can uh, measure the speed of the motor using tachometer. Now the speed of the motor runs according to the set point which is given a 600 rpm which can be seen with the help of a tachometer. Thank you. 